And then lastly, I just wanted to do another tag um, that I, I, I've been watching. I love Dustin's Creek a lot. Um, I, I, she just has like really a lot of cute stuff to show you and tell you. And she's from, um, I believe she said Indiana, but she's in Australia now. It's just really cool to learn. Australia has always been like a fascination to me. So, so that's cool. Um, so, so she asked, I'm going to do this tag. So she asked, you have to get rid of all your foundations and then you can only keep one high end and one drugstore. Which one would you keep? I don't buy high end anymore. I don't buy high end anymore. So I, it's like I said last week, it's Revlon Color Stay. That, that's like my must have foundation. Um, you go for an interview and the lady interviewing you has lipstick on her teeth. Do you approach the subject or, or ignore it? I'm not going there. I will not go there. That's on her. You know, I don't want her to be embarrassed and say, oh, I don't want her working. And she saw me with lipstick on her teeth. So no, I wouldn't tell her. Um, you're not feeling yourself and you need a pick me up. Which lipstick would you put on to make yourself feel beautiful? That would probably have to be any of my Milani uh, color statement lipsticks, but most likely a purple. Um, but yeah, that, the, I mean, cause I, I'll just wear that just to walk to the mailboxes. I just love it so much. So any of them, maybe purple, the purple ones might make me feel better. That vault one is awesome. The violet vault. Oh, that, that's gorgeous. You go back in time for a day to your teenage years. How would you do your hair and makeup differently? I wouldn't. Um, again, people have complained that my hair looks horrible, but growing up, I felt like the only perfect thing I had was my hair <laughs> because I hated that it was so straight, but I would get out the curling irons and the hairspray or the gel. And I would, you know, I think I wore the Farrah Fawcett hairstyle for many, many years, probably well into through the nineties because that's the style that suited me best and then I wanted to try and grow my hair out straight um and even and so I think I did that you know like in the from the in the 2000s and um so I don't think I would change anything about my hair back then you asked your hairdresser for a shoulder length pixie lot haircut but they hear you wrong and give you a pixie cut do you smile and say thank you and leave and call your mom hysterical do you cry in your chair and think and things get awkward or do you complain to the manager and demand a refund? Um, I stand up for myself often, but I still don't like confrontations and, um, and I also like don't want to make people feel bad. So I've had problems like this in the past and um, I just smile and just walk away and then regret it for months until you know my hair grows out for like a month or two um your friend surprises you with a four-day city break and you have one hour to pack which do it all palette would you pack in your makeup bag um i i, I have like a mary Kay um small little mary Kay palettes that have eyeshadows and blushes in it um so i would probably pack one of those um, I, I, as a matter of fact, I, I actually have them put aside just for when we go, go out. So I would probably throw that in. Um, your house has been robbed. Don't worry. Everyone is safe, but your beauty stash has been raided. What products do you hope are safe? You know, it's going to be my wet and wild. Um, the only second thing that comes to mind would be my Inglot. I really like my Inglot palettes, but I will probably run to my wet and wild because those were the hardest to find. It took a lot of time, energy, effort, and money to get those. So those are the ones I would, um, you know, because those limited editions are crazy and hard to find. So probably my wet and wild eyeshadows. Um, your friend borrows your makeup and returns it in awful condition. Do you just pretend you haven't noticed, ask them to repurchase it, or secretly do the same thing to them? Um, if it's a real friend, I might ask them to repurchase it if it's repurchasable. My limited edition, I wouldn't let anyone borrow, period. But if it's something that can be replaced and isn't expensive, um, I might just tell her, keep it and buy one for myself. Or if I'm good.
good enough friends where I might say, hey, you know, that's really in bad condition. Do you mind replacing that for me? But I, um, again, I wouldn't let them borrow any of my limited edition. But I guess if it's something that's replaceable and inexpensive, which I don't buy expensive makeup anymore, I probably would just replace it myself. Um, okay, so um, I tried to do another tag, and for some reason, I don't know if it's my computer or YouTube, I couldn't get the questions. It was a, sun, a sundress um, tag. And I, I couldn't get the questions to print. I kept trying to copy, and I don't know what it is. Maybe something's going on. But I'll try to get to that one next week. And again, um, if you do not see me next week, it would probably be that I have to uh, pack really suddenly um, and get, move out. But um, again, I'm hoping that doesn't happen.